we're on. Are we on? Yep. Shit. Hi, guys. Girls. Hello. Can you guys hear us? Can everyone hear us? I can't hear them. Hi, Barney. <laughs> Barney. Did it work? Oh, it's an ad. It's really weird. <laughs> I was just saying, oh, hi, Barney. Somebody says, hi, Barney. <laughs> personal love. Oh, you can see the ad under it. Per oh, it's personal loans. You, you can check out the personal loans. Right here. And right here in this presentation. Okay, so we collected a bunch of questions that people on Facebook posted for you guys. So I'll start with um, I'll start with them. Uh, first person asks, "Can you give us a hint on what the new album cover is going to look like?" We are going home after this. We're in Los Angeles right now, and we're going home to work on that. Ryan's in Europe, and we're me and Dave are here in LA. So we have a we've been knocking around one concept that we all agree on, but we haven't all sat down and talked about it yet. So. Within a week or so, we'll ha have that <clears throat> have that concept ready. I think so. Yeah. Cool. What Nailed about it. like any idea on the artist that you're going to use at all? I wouldn't. I don't want to say it because there'll yeah, be like we, two, one uh, other. <laughs> we have a couple ideas, but we haven't settled on anything yet. <laughs> it isn't anyone we've used before. I'll give you a hint like that. Well, it might be, maybe we'll see. Okay. Um, Secrets right now. Secrets. It's we still got a, a ways to go before Secrets. before it comes out. So. I wanna, I'm not trying to blow our load with the album just yet. Yeah. I just like saying blow, blow our load uh, on camera. Ice man. Oh, man, I got fucking hair in it. Chuck Fidel's here, the ice man. Gerard okay. got that, Jack. So, uh, Andrew Poston ask, asks, uh, what what's your new album going to be about? Um, well, we never really have done an album that's about something. Yeah, I don't think there's any concept. It's just a bunch of short stories. I guess the Art of Party was kind of like a concept album. It's it's just, I think, uh, I was just talking about this. I did an interview earlier, and I was thinking that it's basically what we took with every waste record that we've done, and, and we just um, went further with it. I think so, especially concept-wise, like, it's mostly the same topics, like stories that we write ourselves, and you know, there's some some songs that are about like just social commentary. Yeah, it's fun S stuff it's, we don't like. I think it's a better version of everything we've done. Yeah, I think it's I think it's a, I think it's clips of every part of the band that that uh, even yeah. from even from yeah, the early days well, we yeah, even, we just yeah. kind of zeroed in on everything and, and you know tightened it up and real nice this time. This isn't beer. We don't. We're not drinking. I'm reading the questions. It says, "Where's your beer?" We got waste. We got. We're doing the Russian <laughs> stuff today, son. <laughs> okay, so I, I'm, just, I'm trying to read some of these and then answer your questions too. <laughs> Gage Vickers asks, "What is your favorite band?" That's my favorite band. ACDC. ACDC. <laughs> Corey Quimby wants to know who are you or who were your influences growing up? Oh, there's so many. Yeah, that's a God. I mean, every. I mean, each part of your life growing up, you you latch onto different things and other things inspire you. So there's, I have so many, I can just go on forever. I'm influenced by everything. Yeah, somebody asked me like what what my the most influential album I've ever heard was, and it's like that's kind of like well, it depends on what part of your life you're yeah. talking about, you know. Like if it, if it's for municipal waste, I would say like like most influential band would be more like Slayer or Suicidal Tendencies or DRI yeah. or Cryptic Slaughter or Gangrene or English Dogs, Coc, like shit like that. That was the stuff that you know me and Ryan were nerding out on when we assault. met. Nuclear Assault, of course. Can't can't not mention them. Um, yeah. So. Jonathan Lane wants to know what are some of your guilty pleasure bands and bands that you don't like admitting that you actually really like. Hi, Scotty. Scotty just texted me. Scotty what Rowe. up, Scotty? 
Tank Ooh. crimes represent. Scotty's watching us. Um, wait, what'd you say? <laughs> your your guilty pleasure bands. Guilty like, pleasure? Yeah. I like Madonna. Call me crazy. Um, <laughs> yeah, Madonna, is that really a guilty pleasure, though? Is that like... Madonna's pretty cool. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't know. We kind of like... I like everything. Yeah, yeah we're kind of shameless, because we'll, like, we'll have parties, like... Just with other bands and stuff, and be playing shit that we all listen to, and are like, don't give a shit. We don't care. Like, we're not really embarrassed by a, a, a lot of stuff. I probably listen to some pop punk that people would yeah, say I, is pretty shameful. I, I guess I guess all of us have our our, our closet bands that we're yeah. proud of that no one else gets. But yeah, music's music, man. I like everything. Yeah, you know, people just grow up listen, like grow up listening to different things with their family and or whoever. With their older brothers or sisters, and just get into weird shit and have weird, different music taste. So it's hard. No, not good Charlotte. Fuck that. <laughs> That's not the kind of pop punk I'm talking about. I shouldn't even say it. <laughs> good Charlotte sucks. <laughs> Abba. I don't know. I don't really listen to Abba. I don't either, but it's cool. I can get behind that. Osrix. That's your jam, Osric right? Tentacles. That's what's yeah. Up. Dave loves them. That's too hippie for me, man. Yeah, this is. <laughs> So, Roy Campos wants to know what, how do, can he get that municipal waste sound, and what gear do you guys use? So I guess. Well, uh, drum wise, I use Trick drums, Feisty cymbals, Vic Firth drumsticks, Remo drum heads, Vans shoes. <laughs> uh, Ryan's got a custom made guitar. I have no idea what he plays there. <laughs> do you know what he plays yeah, there? I, uh, I th I think I'm right, but I'm not sure. This I think the guy's name's Andy Andy Strangio or something like that. He made Ryan's. He guitar. worked for Moser. The guy I, that I made his guitar. I don't uh, remember. I, that's a question for Ryan. He, yeah. And then Phil plays Ampeg. I use Eddie I Vedder mic stands. <laughs> Edward Vedder mic stands. What influenced the name Municipal Waste? People are texting me questions right yeah. now. <laughs> I'm not getting any of that. Uh, my friend texted me what my favorite hot dogs was, and it's City Dogs in Richmond, Virginia. Sorry, what was your question? Uh, what what influenced the name Roo? Municipal Waste? Uh, what influenced the name? Ryan saw it on the back of a garbage truck when we were in D.C. one day. And he's like, I always wanted to do a band called Municipal Waste when he, when he saw the garbage truck. That's an old question. We get asked that a lot. Your dream tour? Uh, Rush. <laughs> I, I always wanted to tour with... There's like four. I always wanted to tour with Cannibal Corpse, Motorhead, Slayer, duh. And yeah. I'd love to tour with Anthrax. There's probably more, too. Yeah. There, that's just like off the top of my head. I, I can I can back to all those. Decisions. Yeah. And there's yeah. bands... We played with a lot of those bands before, but actually like touring and getting to know them as... People and musicians, yeah. and seeing how bands like that work, it's it's great touring with bands I've that you toured, admire. And, and we've toured with two that I that I'm really I was stoked on Suicidal at the Gates. Yeah, Suicidal. Yeah, they at the Gates, amazing. of course. Was, was pretty, pretty much everyone we've been on tour with. It's been awesome. So mm -hmm. they've all been really great. William Avalos wants to know that if you could see any band from any era, which would it be and why? I would want to see Minor Threat. I never saw them. That would be awesome. Oh, man. I'll go DC, too. I'll say Void. I love to see Void. Minor Threat as well. And believe it or not, I never saw Fugazi, and that would be my second choice. Same group of people, more or less. Robert Mueller, uh, Robert Mueller is asking Tony, uh, what's the word on the upcoming puppet series with Gore? Um, we just fi we finished the first episode. It's online now. I think, I think you can actually get it on YouTube. Um... It's called The Blood Vomits, and I just got an email from them the other day about the second episode that we're going to start filming when I get home. So, yeah, that's really fun. It's just us doing voices, and I'm... I saw it. It's fun. It's weird. <laughs> it's really weird. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, so that's a, <laughs> I, I, it's, a, it's an experiment that uh, me and the Guar guys and Randy from Lamb of God have been fucking around with, and it's a lot of fun, and those guys are great. Let's take a t uh, question off here. Uh, they're just calling it. 
Call him a dickhole? You're a dickhole? I don't know. Oh, cool. yeah. I've always been wanting to call him a dickhole. I can mark that off my list. Uh, I don't, it's just telling us to play places. We're trying to play everywhere we can. We just don't have enough time to go all over the place. Yeah, okay. Give us another one. I guess this one's for Phil, but I don't know if you guys want to answer this one. Do you know if he was self-taught or if he took lessons? I don't know. Mainly, I think he was mainly self-taught, but he did minor instructions. But, again, you're right. He would know better than us. Mm -hmm. Phil was in a million bands uh, growing up. Like, he was in a lot of bands that... Like, we, he was in, like, some band called Stitcho, and, yeah, he, he was in a lot of bands. I don't know. A lot of local, smaller bands. And what was that death metal band he was in? Nehemma. Nehemma, yeah. He was in a really cool death metal band yeah. called Nehemma. And I saw Phil, first time I saw Phil play, he did windmills the entire, for <laughs> half an hour. Oh, I'd love to see that. It's really weird. George Wright wants to know... Is uh, that Ryan from Off of Their Heads? <laughs> George okay. just asking Dave, uh, when could he expect you to venture back into your not so grind core? Tomorrow. Ah. <laughs> Donovan, Donovan Valhalla wants to know where do you sell your merch? Where do we sell our merch? Uh -huh. On the interweb. On the internet. Look it up. <laughs> There's this thing called the interweb. Yeah, JSR merchandising. Yeah. What's a coot? Somebody said, do I have a coot? A toque? Is that a hat backwards? Canadian hat? Do you know a kid, a kid named Jack that you taught, Dave? Yeah. yeah okay. Jack Sumner? No, somebody said that you taught my friend Jack. I'm trying to read these, but I can't, it's, there's a lot of them. There's, and there's two different message boards I'm trying to look at, so it's kind of hard. You could scroll through this one. like if you. Oh, want. no, I'm not fucking with that. That would really be weird. Okay. Let's, what else you got for me? Dave, me and old Dave here. Oh, that's Ryan Young. Ryan Young's in Europe right now, off of their heads. Yeah, I hope he's eating good food. He he eats like shit. Do you still have your AIDS from Best Friends Day? Your weird bite marks. Where do you get your crack? From Guar, Dave Brocky. It's a crackathon. <laughs> Poor Kids Radio. Yeah, those are our boys, man. I was with Russell last night. Blake Jones wants to know how hard was it to start the band? He's in a thrash band himself, and everyone doesn't agree with anything. Um, it was, it was, I mean, we were just doing it for fun, and we are fucking around, and we are like a bunch of guys that got along really well, so it was just, we just did it for fun, so it was really easy. Yeah, if you start a band, start it for fun. Don't start it for any other reason. Yeah, don't, don't try to be something you're not, just... You know, not saying you are, but yeah. you know, maybe other people that, you're not, be that you're not getting That's along the key. with. When touring, what is the way each of you find? What is the way each of you find to relax and get away from the inevitable stress involved with touring? Go out for walks. Drink, dr just power through it through with alcohol. <laughs> and, <laughs> power <true>. through it. <laughs> I take Do walks. things that make you black out and uh, go to sleep longer. <laughs> Best venue you've ever played at? Um, Best venue? Mm -hmm. There's so many, but I like the Triple Rock because they have free bacon. And I like that one. I like the Debaser in... Uh, oh, in Sweden? Yeah. The Debaser in, in Sweden is a Pixies theme bar, which is really yeah. cool. Um, the Triple awesome. Rock. Triple Rock in... Uh, in um, Minneapolis. And, and, you know, the Bottle Tree in, in Alabama, that place was awesome, too. Oh, dude, Red 7. Yeah. Come on, oh, man. Shit. Red 7 in Texas, dude. That's, like, the spot. So, yeah. What country or city has the craziest crowd? South ah. America. Yeah, Chile was off the South hook. America. Those people put the R in rage. Yeah, that was great. The most unforgettable party you guys ever attended after a gig, where was it? And what happened? Wait, say that again? The most unforgettable after party that you guys attended. Oh, that question. The one I wasn't at. I was when, you the, when you lit the couch on fire and threw it off the balcony. Oh, yeah, one time we lit a couch on fire and <laughs> threw it off the balcony. They carried it back up the stairs on fire and threw it off again. 
I wish I was there for that. I wasn't. That's where we met uh, Thomas from At the Gates. That's how we had a relationship with that dude. We from that that stupid night. We were at riot shields and we would hide behind the riot shields, and another person would stand on the other side of the room with a forty ounce and try to throw it at us, and you had to block it with the riot shield. There was a lot of broken noses that night. Um, <laughs> my friend Howdy got electrocuted. Shelly got evicted. Um, yeah, that was a fun night. That was uh, our original drummer, Brandon's 18th birthday. Uh, and we played a uh, municipal waste show at Alley Cats and then us and the, the Crown and Darkest Hour and everybody went back to this house and, and literally destroyed it. So, yeah, that was a fun one. Wow. Um, <laughs> Isaac wants to know does it take you guys a while to come up with a riff and will do you guys ever change your sound uh, it's no, you I want a riff right now bro I got a riff you better at guitar solo stuff I do right so I wrote a solo on the do album solo. wait hold on alright give me <laughs> Next question, please. Jobs before the waste. Oh, oh, shit. I had a job. Shit, you got a job, right? Yeah. Don't you still work at Catering? I work at a catering company. Yeah. Sometimes. And uh, I worked at a screen printing shop up until a couple years ago, which is why Municipal Waste had so many t-shirts, because I printed all of them. Like, I was a master catcher. Yeah, he worked there, too. Yeah. And, uh, yep, they're not in business anymore. Because it's thanks to the good old recession, but great people, and we wouldn't be where we are today without without that that Kevin, shitty little cr screen printing company that, me that some bullets. hooked us up. <laughs> <laughs> I think oh. somebody asked what you're going to be for Halloween. Uh, that's a great question. What are you going to be? Uh, I have ideas, but I haven't said on uh, I haven't settled on anything yet. Waste usually plays on Halloween, and we always have pretty good costumes, but uh. We're not doing it this year. Last year I was D. Snyder. I looked awesome. He was great. He was T. Snyder. T. Snyder. And then this year I want. I might be uh, one of the guys from Thirty Rock, or I might be Old Greg. Does it? Does anyone know who Old Greg is from that TV show? The mighty, the mighty Boosh, Old Greg. Yep. It's pretty good. It. Hopefully, you, that's what I'm going for. But it's a lot of makeup, and I got to wear a tutu. It's kind of weird. Is it freezing? We're frozen. I think you're still on. It's just the screen. Um. Do you guys like your older stuff or your newer stuff better? I like all of it. Yeah, we, I think we like our band or we wouldn't do it. Yeah. <laughs> Who's our favorite New York hardcore band? Oh, so many to choose from. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to go with Sick of It All. Shit, man. I like uh, Girl Biscuits is like one of my favorite bands. I also like Quicksand. Oh, they're not really a hardcore band. Uh, Postcard. Youth of Today. Fucking, man. So many choices. Yeah, like, I grew up way... around that area. And, and, you know, I, I learned a lot of that stuff real early on in life. So, all that stuff's awesome. Cro-Mags. Oh, yeah. Leeway. Fucking. Mark of the Squealer. Yeah, there's there's a lot a lot of good ones. Will you guys ever make a tour or party DVD? Yeah, we have so we have, we have I think we have millions, too much footage. Millions for, of hours of footage. Yeah, millions. it would we it would be a huge undertaking. We we have a friend that's filming a, she's doing a documentary on us and uh, Toxic Holocaust and a few other bands, and she's been like riding around touring with us and uh, she's got some really killer footage. So we might do something like that, like, but I don't. I don't know what we're going to do with the years of footage that we have. We could compete with the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Yeah, we got VHS tapes, like, from 2001. <laughs> I mean, we have I have little weird cassette tapes from my old video camera. Just us wrecking houses and stuff. Oh, that was the grossest burp. I think I puked it's in my mouth. It sounded like bit. a puke. Woof. That was gross. Um, Fuck your couch, son. Any memorable pranks you guys pulled on yourselves? Pull a prank on yourself? Who the fuck does that? <laughs> oh, actually, you know what? All right, I did because I went through this this <laughs> I went through this phase where I get really fucked up. If I knew I was gonna black out or I was gonna have it like like you know you go go out to the bar and you like 
eat that late night meal. I would dress myself really stupid before I went to bed. So you wake up with like all your or like put all your clothes on backwards or like and so you wake up the next day and you're like, what the fuck? Who did this? Yeah, I did that a couple times. I knew I knew because I like always wanted to do it, so I, I did that a couple times. So you just wake up with like a fucking stupid like hat on and like your Sunday dress, yeah, mustache, fake mustache. Yeah, go all out if you can do it. If you can play a prank on yourself, go all out. Just do it, man. You got one? Did you play a prank on yourself? Can't remember. Can't remember. Andrew wants to know what's the story behind the last few minutes of the song "Born to Party." The last few minutes. Is that the Andy thing? Oh, uh, the "Born to" is it? Is it like the secret song? I, I don't remember. I think that's the thing where we recorded. We were trying to record a song that we came up with, and we had this like handheld recorder, and then our friend, our old bass player, was walking by while we were like describing the song to each other. And they were like, Andy, you remember it? Like, sing the song that we came up with. And then he just riffed and made up this incredible song um, that we call Touch Me Now. And that's, Touch me now. And that was all off the top of his head. He just like, we we're like, what was that song? He just goes, sometimes I chill like a bit sometimes. And that's the, that's what that is. One of the funniest people I've ever met. And he's also the guy who does the, uh, yeah, he also does the kite song at the end of Waste Them All, which uh, is a hell of a song. How tall am I? Uh, five, 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 five. Hi, Somebody asked me guys. if Brett Michaels influenced my headwear, and uh, no, he didn't. I think he wears it because he's balding. I got, I got a full head of hair, son. I think his shit is even like... I think Brett Michaels' hair is actually like glued onto yeah. the bandana he wears. Uh, it's like, you know, his Halloween costumes. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Sally wants to know who is your creepiest fan or groupie that you ever had to deal with? We had this one called the Night Moose. And, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Night Moose and then uh, Sea Donkey. Yeah, then there's Night Moose and then there was the Sea Donkey. The Night Moose. The Night Moose was in Sweden. Yeah, Night Moose would follow the band, band around. Like the night moose, after. the night moose followed the van around, and then when we went to the hotel, the security guard cut the night moose off. <laughs> the security guard wouldn't let her in. You were not allowed in here. <laughs> so he saved the day. Yeah, so that's that's the tale of the night moose. And then I'm sure when we go back there, um, the night moose will ride again. <laughs> that's the sequel to the tale of the night moose. Night moose two. Uh, Victor Figueroa wants to know if you guys like to do covers, and if so, would you ever cover the Beatles, uh, or any other band for that matter? And if so, would it be on the next album as a bonus track? Um, no, we would never cover the Beatles. Yeah. But um, I would say we used to cover shit a lot. We did an Excel cover. We did an Excel cover. We did a. a Poison Idea cover, we did... We actually recorded the Poison Idea cover. It's on a comp. What was that other shit? We did another... Oh, we did a COC comp. We, we covered two Crows and Conformity songs. Mm. That's on a 7-inch somewhere. And, uh... What... That's it. I think why... What else did we do live? We may have, like, fucked around with something else. I can't remember. I'm the, the, uh... The one I just mentioned is the only one I can Yeah, think of. our biggest problem is now is that we can't agree. All of our music tastes are, are so spread out that we can't all agree on one song. I think we wanted to. Do, I don't want to say that because we might actually do this other cover. Yeah. So yeah, right right now, um, we can't agree on what we're gonna do <laughs> for covers. Oh yeah, we did. Thank you. My friend just texted me. We did a body count cover. We covered. Uh, was it KKK bitch? I don't remember. That was a long ass time ago, but it was it was a good one. I love that Mark is watching this right now. By the way, <laughs> largest beer bong ever used. Uh, we oh, had one. Uh, yeah, we had one that was two stories tall. Uh, we had uh, like four of them that were two stories tall. We played a two story place, kind of set up like the Knitting Factory in LA, if you remember that place. But uh, it was like a second story. So we set up people on each side, and right when we started playing, they dropped, and there was just people with 40s pouring beer in it the whole time while we played, and they were just, like, chugging it. I don't know how effective the, 
the it was it probably warmed. what 10 15 foot long hoses yeah yeah something like it that. was really tall so you had to have somebody upstairs drop it down and then <laughs> do it. it it was fun watching the recipient that's for sure <laughs> Colt 45 or Old E? None of the above. <laughs> what was it? Colt 45 or Old E? Well, Colt 45 for Billy D. If you'd asked, like, uh, you know, 17-year-old Tony, I would say Cisco. Or Mad Dog. Mad Dog. I still fuck with Mad Dog sometimes. <laughs> Bar- I say Barley Wine. Do you remember else. Cisco? It was disgusting. It was awful. Drink the shit out of it. Matt wants to know what is the most amazing alcoholic concoction you ever have created. I don't know if I've ever created one, but the, the craziest one I've drank is called Volcano. For me, kind. Oh, they light it on fire. <laughs> yeah, it's just like a, a huge, bowl full of liquors, and they light it on fire, and you drink it, and you forget your name by the time you're done with it. You brewed some beer though. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, I made coffee porter. That was pretty good, but it wasn't crazy alcoholic. Nightmare like the volcano. <laughs> I'm assuming you don't drink it while it's on fire. You can, but it, it's probably not a good idea. Oh, okay. Uh, Ryan, <laughs> uh, here's a funny story. When Ryan, Face Down and Shit, was playing at Twisters, it was either Twisters or one of the incarnations. It's now Strange Matter in Richmond, but Ryan bought a shot for them while they were on stage, but it was one of these shots that you light on fire. But he didn't think that he had to light it on fire. He lit it on fire before he brought it to the band, so he had to walk through a crowd of people <laughs> with these two shots that were on fire. It was him and one of his friends. So he got about halfway through, and then, of course, somebody bumps into him, and the alcohol ran down his hands and burnt the fuck out of his fingers, his, his playing fingers, too. Right? Yeah, yeah. And then we had to... Um, we, we, I think we canceled the show the next day. We were on tour with uh, Annihilation Time and Holier Than Thou. And we, that was the show, it was right around the time that you saw us the first time. I saw you guys New Year's Eve the first time, 2002. Okay, so it was right around that time and we almost, that, all right, that happened right before that because Ryan almost couldn't play the show. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. that was from trying to hand someone a flaming shot um, in a, uh, at a show where people mosh. And I will say that before I knew about it, someone gave me a flaming shot and I did it and burned my mustache. I didn't know you were supposed to you blow it out. You burnt your mustache. Yeah. It was quite silly of me. They're like, you're supposed to blow it out first, dumbass. <laughs> uh, what brand condoms do you rely on the most? None. Condoms? What's that? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. How many times have you had to repair vehicles on tour? A lot, but not as ma- not as uh, much as a lot of other people. We got stuck in the mountains once. That kind of sucked when the radiator pump blew or whatever. The water pump, remember that? Yeah, yeah. The worst was when we uh, broke down on that destruction tour. The van, it did, <laughs> the van solid. didn't break down. The van froze. Yeah. That's how cold it was. It froze. They were like, stuck there for two days, and we all had the flu. Oh, it was, it was yeah, it was miserable. Aw- awful. Where was that in, in uh, Canada? Quebec City. Yeah, and it was it was snowing worse. balls. And uh, yeah, we all had the flu. And the, how they fixed the car was they put it in a garage for like five hours, and yeah, it thawed it out, and we drove it out. That was all that happened. So that's an earliest one for sure. I forgot to read these. Arrogant Bastard Ale, Stone Brewery. What do you think, Dave? Very good. They, Stone makes really good beers. Uh, favorite trauma movie? Toxic Avenger, of course. I like uh, Cannibal the Musical and Ferocious Female Fe- Freedom Fighters. <laughs> People are keep texting me shit. I'm not getting anything. Oh, yeah, I have a couple. All right. Oh, my mom. Hi, Dave. I'm watching you. <laughs> hi, Mom. Dave's mom's watching. You want a hi, Mom? You want a hi, Mom? Yeah. Hi, Mom. She can hear me. Okay. We do wear condoms, Dave's mom. Yeah. <laughs> don't think we don't. Sorry. Scotty Roo, Night Moose. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Your favorite beer? Oh, my favorite beer is Pesh Martel from Dieu de Seal Brewery in Montreal, Canada. 
Amy, Amazing. Amy, Amy the Ass. I can go on and on for, I have a list as long as the scroll took time. But uh, that one I really, really like a lot. What is the worst drink you've ever had? Probably the one I'm making right now. <laughs> Mountain Dew and vodka. Uh, a warm skunk to go on an anniversary. Oh, I I tried to brew beer once when I was when I was seventeen, and uh, the reason why it was the worst I ever had is because uh, I drank it warm for one thing, and uh, I had to go into work and I drank a two liter of it and I was I when I was seventeen I weighed about a hundred and I was on the wrestling team and so I was around one hundred awesome. twenty five pounds, and I drank this two liter of homemade beer and then I went to work. Thinking like, oh, I remember this story. So, I was. They said I was. I, this is what I was. I was told. I was laying in in the wait station of this restaurant, like almost passed out. And one of the girls actually snuck me out of there, and took me home. And I had to like pretend I wasn't. I just told my parents I went home sick. I was actually uh, <laughs> a drunk idiot. But yeah, I barfed a lot that day from that. That was one of the worst drinks. It was warm and gross and. Brown, like the bark was, it was in my my bedroom. I puked. I puked in my room. Sorry, that's what I was trying Good to say. Good times. Who's the biggest stoner in the band? Me. Yeah, right. <laughs> I, think I, think I think that's. I think that question. Think obvious. Yeah, I think that question. If you is, know the is, band, I think that's, that's a terrible question. <laughs> yeah. Let's take one from the board here. What's the most horrible thing you've seen on tour? And it can include naked band members. Oh, man, our most horrible thing I've seen on tour. Hmm. There's a lot. Dave's got a couple weird stories. I, I'm going to say, I'm going to tell a story that isn't even from our band, but that one of the guys from Baroness told me earlier today. Have you heard this shit? No, I they, don't know. They came out here to play a show with the Red Chord. And the, we're in L.A. right now, and uh, John brought his girlfriend. Mm-hmm. All right, make, make a long story short, they were driving out to the show, and uh, they are in high-speed traffic, you know, and it starts to slow down, and they don't realize, but, like, like all this debris, like, hits the car, and then they slowly start to realize that, the, like, there's a leg, oh, and there's really? another leg, and then there's, like, body parts, like... And then they go up a little further, and there's, like, four cars on the side of the road, and they're all out, out there talking, like, what, what what was that? Like, they didn't even know what they hit. And it was, oh, actually, man. it was actually a person that jumped off the overpass into traffic. And this is, like, you know, a few, like, you know, right ahead of them. And they just were driving, like, drove through that. And they have actually had dude on their car. Wow, yeah. Pretty terrible. That's pretty nice. So that's a gnarly story. And, I mean, we... I've seen some gross shit, but I've never seen nothing. I mean, I've never seen anyone die or anything. I've seen some balls and like. Yeah, we've seen plenty of naked men. And yeah, and not many naked women, just top. Yeah, it's weird. It's weird like that. The guy breaking his bottle over his head in Canada was great though. Oh, on stage, yeah. jumped on stage and broke a bottle over his head. Yeah, jumped on stage, looked at us, then turned around, faced the crowd, and bashed a bottle over his head, and then no it cut Phil's fingers up because the glass went all over the place. It was pretty funny. Cliff wants to know, what do you guys think of folk metal? Is it as sissy as emo music? It's kind of like, you know, I, I, don't mean, I don't mean to talk shit, but it's kind of like somebody asking me about, like, From Earth to Ashes or whatever one of those bands are. It's like, or like some metalcore thing. It's yeah. like something I don't know about. I don't I pay still, attention to I it. I don't listen to about I don't listen to it. It's like you. It's like me asking you, like, what? What do you think of all country? It's like you don't. You don't think about it. It's just there. And you, yeah. Like, doing its thing. Yeah. Uh, they want to do their thing. It's cool. <laughs> doing I, I its thing. Doing its thing. Out. I, don't, I don't care. <laughs> What's your favorite horror movie? Or better yet, what are some of your favorite films in general? Ah uh, man, uh, my favorite horror movie. One of my favorites is The Thing. I, oh, yeah, I watched man. it like two days ago. So classic. So I'm getting pumped on the, the movie that's coming out. I'm, I'm going to go see it. Yeah, yeah i got to see it. I'm hoping it doesn't have a bunch of CGI in it. It looks shitty, but I love The Thing. I'm um, going for Dead Alive. Yeah, I was just going to say Dead Alive, too. Like, I, I could 
watch I watch that like once a year, you know. I like to, I could go I could watch American Werewolf in London and and The Howling over and over. Return of the Living Dead. Um oh man, there's so many. You know. Now I'm starting to think of Oh, what's the what's the one that I I the like Basket Case 2? Yeah, <laughs> Goblin 2. I yeah. like monster movies too. Um The Host yeah, the, the Korean monster yeah, movie. Yeah, that movie, movie is killer. That's super good. Yeah, so I just watched like, The Horde. That was good. It was a French zombie film. That's is pretty that the awesome. one that we that was, that dude was watching in Belgium? I don't know. It's about the gang members and like the, there's a zombie invasion while the police are fighting the gang members. Oh no, it's pretty awesome. Also, like The Walking Dead, I'm I'm really into that show and I'm really excited that that's premiering soon. I think one of the Anthrax guys is on on that. Really? Like he's like he's like a zombie or something. Oh, that's yeah, like awesome. a really small part, but yeah, that that show is is fucking awesome. Uh, Alex is asking how many Jaeger bombs can you guys do in a row? Uh, <laughs> personally, I think Jaeger bombs suck. Yeah. But I do a lot of them. <laughs> if I'm like really tired, uh, if I'm really tired and I know I gotta like hang out, I'll do a Jaeger bomb. I'm not really big into energy drinks. Yeah, I can't do it. I drink too many strong beers to to drink that stuff. Guar loves Jaeger bombs. Yeah, Jaeger like, bombs, Jaeger bombs. Those dudes before they go on stage, they all do a Jaeger bomb. Well, at least this was like this giant cups. Yeah, the, yeah, it, it was weird and gross, but kind of awesome the same way. But it's yeah. like that was like five years ago. Maybe, maybe they probably have heart problems now from it, so maybe they don't do it as much. Kevin is asking if you could record an entrance theme for any pro wrestler from back in the day, who would it be? <laughs> Shit. Um, That's a hard one, but I'll go with uh, Jimmy Superfly Snuka. I always like Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, so I would like do like cover like a Japanese hardcore song when Ricky the Dragon Steamboat came out. I hope he's Japanese, because <laughs> that might be offensive. I don't know. But that would be kind of cool. If, like, Sergeant, Sergeant Slaughter would be sick, too. <laughs> yeah. It'd be cool to see like G- Ricky the Dragon Steamboat come out to like a gauze song or something. <laughs> Taylor is asking, have you have any of you ever been straight edge in your life? No. Usually when when I wake up uh, with a serious hangover, like I declare that I'm, I'm gonna be straight edge. Straight edge, especially when you're like in the process of throwing up or being sick all over yourself. Usually you declare that you're sort of straight edge, and then... I'm then never going to drink again, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then maybe um, later on that day, and or a couple days later, or whenever you feel like drinking again, then it goes away. I have nothing against straight edge, though. I would be straight edge if I had the... Um, I don't know. I just, like, get bo- I would get bored. I wouldn't have... I couldn't figure out stuff to do. Yeah, I don't like I need to... to be, like, more I don't active. like to limit myself. Yeah. It's like, I'm, I'm open to all things, you know. I All country no restrictions. Yeah, I'll sure if it's good. Yeah. I have an interesting question from Matt Dent. Matt Dent. Matt Dent. Who would win in the fight between the Thing, Toxic Avenger, my ex mother in law, and Richard Simmons? Richard Simmons, dude. Come on, it's a no brainer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The Thing would now. The Thing would pretend it was Richard Simmons, and make Richard Simmons kill Richard Simmons. So it would be like this weird, like, Richard Simmons battle. The between Simmons. The Thing and Richard Simmons. Favorite video game? Ooh, that's a good one for Dave. Mine is God of War or Goldeneye. And I also play a lot of Lego uh, Star Wars. I guess the game that got really, really, really got me into video games was Doom. Doom was, like, changed video games for me. But other than that, it was, like, classics, like, just... You know, Pac-Man, and Space Invaders, and shit like that. Tempest, Smash TV. I always liked Adventure on the Atari. Yeah, that was. Do you remember cool that too. game where yeah, you're, yeah. The, you're the square and yeah. like? I would still play the shit out of that game. Like, I love it. I had ColecoVision when I was a kid too. That was that was good for uh, console. I got on this kick. Like, I got a Wii, and I I got all the. Uh, you can go online and like buy all the old um, Nintendo games. So yeah. I beat Legend of Zelda. Oh, yeah, Zelda was a like, classic. The, yeah, I beat the original one, like, yeah. recently. I beat Metroid recently, oh, okay. like, and, yeah, so. That was kind of fun. That was, like, what I was doing this summer. When I should have been writing lyrics. <laughs> These two games that got me excited these days are, like, Dead Space and, uh, you know, all the uh, 
Call of Duty games, Modern Warfare. I like those type of games. Uh, Patrick's asking, who's your favorite Marvel superhero? I don't know who's Marvel and who isn't, to be honest with you. I, I think Marvel's better, but I always... Um, I like... I like Batman, like, growing up. I was really into that, so... I'm stoked for the new Batman movie. I think it's going to be awesome. Yeah, I, that... I that, What got me not into Batman, I and people are going to hate me for this, but I hated... Mr. Freeze? I No, well, all that shit, man. <laughs> I, 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 hated, too. I hated the Tim Burton Batman movies. Yeah. Like, and I was, like, a comic book, like, into that, and when that came out, I was, like, so into Batman. I was, like, had the shirt and the... You know, like, you know, when that movie dropped, like, everybody was rocking Batman stuff, and I was that kid, and uh, I watched the movie, and I was like, for real? This fucking sucks, dude. Yeah. Like, Tim Burton, like, yeah, th- he let me down on that one, and uh, sure, people hate me, but I, like, n- like, not a lot of people really agree with me on that, but the newer, the last Batman movie was one of the best comic book movies I've ever seen. I agree. Uh, but Mar- as far as Marvel, Marvel goes... Um, I like the Punisher, but I never thought that they did a proper job doing a movie on the Punisher. Now that we're talking about, um, yeah, now that we're talking about that but movies, but yeah, I, I really was into the Punisher at the time. I liked the character; thought it was a good idea. Dave Mustaine versus Carrie King. Carrie King, come on. Carrie King. K- Dave Mustaine's bigger, so he might. Have Is he look- bigger than Carrie King? Oh yeah, he's a tall bitch. Is he- <laughs> he's got long arms. And shit. He's got bigger reach than Carrie King. Dave, Dave, you've heard it here, ladies and gentlemen. Dave Mustaine, tall bitch. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Dude, but Carrie King's got a fucking tribal headpiece. Tribal man. beard. Has he got a tribal beard now? Yeah, Did he get a Mike Tyson? Something like that. <laughs> this bottle's... Well, see, <laughs> shit's getting interesting now. Rygar, do you remember that video game? Oh yeah, that's a great one. What would happen if Rygar and Altered Beast sixty nine? <laughs> Rygar, I'm asking you. Up. I'm asking you, you, all of you. What else we got here? Who wins in the fight, Dave or Mike Witt? <laughs> my brother kicked my ass. He's a strong little bastard. I'm not challenging your brother either. He'd probably kick my ass too. Jesus versus but. God. I don't know. That's like asking us about Lord of the Rings. Yeah. <laughs> that's like asking if Sa- Santa Claus and, and the Tooth and Fairy. And Gandalf. <laughs> if you could be in any movie, what would it be? Oh, man. That's cool. Any movie of all time or, or uh, one that's coming out? or I Just any. I'd be in a Star Wars movie, like one of the newer ones, so I could like get on set and punch George Lucas for fucking that shit up. <laughs> I'd, I'd go with Star Wars too, so I'd, I'd have the Force ability. Yeah, yeah. That'd be fun. Um, what other? I've, I've, only wanted, I've always wanted to be a vampire in a film. So, the Interview with the Vampire. I remember when I saw that, I saw the Midnight Showing, which is a long time ago, and I was like, yeah, I want to be a fucking vampire. <laughs> I know, I want to so be. Stupid. I want to be in the Anchorman sequel. <laughs> if they ever make an Anchorman sequel, I want in on that. Because that's my jam. <laughs> Harold wants to know if you had to be another member of The Waste for Halloween, who would you pick? Phil. If you'd be another Waste member for mm-hmm. Halloween, I'd be Dave. Yeah. You, get, you can buy those fake like tattoo sleeves at, at the store. <laughs> yes, I would do that. Hey, um, Dave. What? When are you going to record those old Well Aware songs? Oh, who knows? That's a, that's like one, one of my first bands. I just found the the, the demo. Is you a hardcore band, Long, right? Yeah, a hardcore band. Who knows? Yeah, probably never. Why don't you put out the demo? There's no vocals on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, you should get somebody to say, do it. <laughs> like uh I don't know. I asked those dudes. They didn't seem interested, so. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's all the questions I have from Facebook. Now it's up to you guys online to keep posting your questions. There isn't a... I, it's weird. These questions aren't coming up, but I guess there's some coming up over there. It might be that these are the most current, maybe. 
And it, no, because these aren't. Those, that one's moving. This one's not. No, that's slow. Wait, see, look, check oh, this out. Ones? Check this out. Watch Tony. Look, look at me. Ready? Look. Look. See that? Watch. Now it's gonna do it. That's weird. Watch. <laughs> wow. Delayed that's reaction. Trippy. Uh, are they gonna look at any California shows coming up? Nope. Do you like black metal? Yeah, sure. Craft? Sure do. Yeah, craft's great. Show us your breast. What? Come on. This is serious. <laughs> we're talking, we're getting serious here. <laughs> Who are you pulling for next president? Howard Stern. <laughs> oh, shit. That now it's moving real fast. Uh, the Berg vs. Hazlitt. <laughs> what? The Berg vs. Hazlitt? Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Hazlitt. Most underrated band in metal history. Iron Christ. I don't think I've ever No, Ripping Corpse. I was going to say, I thought you were going to say Ripping Corpse. Corpse. Without a doubt. Oh, man. For me. That's, uh, I was just, I will say a recent band that was very underrated was Face Down and Shit. I thought that band was a lot better than, than people gave them credit for. They were really awesome. I see Ryan all the time. He's Mo Buffalini guy. asked, Tony, why do you like mustard so much? <laughs> That's because she loves spiders. <laughs> I love mustard. I love yeah. mustard. I also drink, another fun fact, I also drink a lot of water. He drinks more water than anybody else in the band. I drink more water than anyone else. I, I bet I, I drink way more water than you guys. I, yeah, I, I could probably <laughs> drink more water than anyone on this chat board thing. So I, it's just how shit goes, ladies and gentlemen. Don't even try it, Dave. You can drink all that shit you want. I'll catch up fast as shit. I got a whole case with my name on it. Oh, I guess we're still doing this. Any more questions? Uh, are you excited for the fest? Yes, I am. I'm, I'm going to be there at Gainesville Fest um, to hang out. It's my big... I'm DJing a party at the fest on Sunday night, me and Shelly. Cool. Yeah. I'm going to miss it. That I'm gonna, sucks. I'm going to play some ass rap. People to shake their ass. Ice cream and cake. Ice cream, I can't okay. come on the ice cream. I really am going to do that. And that's the last, it's a secret after party, but it's, uh, the fest is putting it on. Well, yeah, well, they don't know where it is. You don't know where the secret is. No, I what do you think of your upcoming album? Uh, it's awesome. I think it's awesome. It's really good. It's, uh, when it, I'm very excited to hear it mixed. It hasn't been mixed yeah. yet. It's going to get mixed in like a week and... That's gonna be the real. That's I think that's what's really gonna set it over the top. But the song, the songwriting is, um, I'm extremely proud of it. I think it's it's some of the best work we've ever done. Yeah, I'm, I'm real excited about it. I think it's there, great. There's some jammers. I'm very happy. There's some jammers on it. Mo, I want more questions from Mo. Come on, Mo. Screeching Weasel or the queer Screeching Weasel. Come on. Like recent Screeching Weasel, like um, Punch Chicks Screeching Weasel. <laughs> yeah, I'll I'm go just, with that. <laughs> I just, violent, violent pop punk band. Yeah, no shit. He's really upset. He needs a little, he needs a bottle of milk and a baby. Best job you ever held? I would say that same job, screen, screen printing. Driving movies here that I worked at. That was awesome. You worked at driving movies there? Yeah. I, I, yeah, I was a projectionist. I cleaned up in the morning. We found so much shit. Oh, uh, like it was <laughs> awesome. Money, beer, you name it. Just out on the... Yeah, people would drop it and not be able to find it at night. It's dark. Wow. Yeah, I worked at a movie theater for a long time, uh, and I was a project. I eventually got promoted to be a projectionist, and that was really fun. It's a cool job. Um, it was a weird time because it was right when unions... Like, the projectionists used to be unions. Oh, yeah? And right when I got hired, I was, like, one of the first projectionists, like, in Virginia that was, like, not union. You were a scam. Kind of sucked. Yeah. Yeah, really. <laughs> Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know anything about it. I was like, young as shit. Um, Metallica or Slayer? Slayer. Still like Metallica, though. I love that reloaded shit, man. 
I got a reloaded tattoo, son. <laughs> it's a leprechaun reloaded. Uh, how do you keep your endurance up and stay in performing shape? That's a question for you, buddy. Well, I used to ride a bike and run, but I don't know. Just being well practiced, you know. Yeah. That, that's what does it. I try to a shitload of water, like Tony says. Yeah, really drink a lot of water and uh, stay active. Do something. Ride a bike. Get out there. Do anything. I I, I try to get as I'm trying to stay as busy as possible in the. Um, in the summer, I injure myself every year. Yes, he does. Yeah. I'm wearing a thing right now. Oh, you can't see it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, whatever. Volleyball accident. Yep. <laughs> Ever punch someone during the show? Never. I would never do such a thing. <laughs> PBR Yingling? Yingling, oldest brewery in America. When it comes to that, I'm like, whatever is coldest. I don't drink a lot. Uh, like, Dave made me kind of a beer snob. I like beer. A I lot. like. I'm more into this kind of stuff. A <laughs> uh, b- band, a band breakup that bummed you out. A band that broke Bourbon up. Corpse. Let's do a modern one. Modern one. Shit, I can't so, think. REM. R.E.M. No, just j- broke up there. Yeah, no, I, I was proud of that. U2 needs to break up, too. Yeah. U2 needs to follow suit. Uh, but yeah, band that broke up. I can't think of anything. Annihilation time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They broke up way too early. Yeah, that's that was excellent. Yeah, that was the band that broke up that broke my heart. Beer or spirit drinks? Spirit drinks. You want to wrap it up? Beer. Favorite hardcore band? Current, fa- like new or favorite hardcore band, I'd say Night Fever. Yes, I'll agree 100%. Night Fever is... Best hardcore band I've seen in years. Badass hardcore band. And waste of time, and I'm not just saying that because Mark's watching. Uh, la, la. <laughs> it's so weird to see. Uh, which is the first album you bought? First album I bought was uh, Men at Work. Business as usual. Really? Yeah, I think so. That's one of the first records I got. Yeah. The first one I actually purchased was Huey Lewis 4. Yeah. Yeah, but I the first that. record I got was Men at Work. My uh, first grade teacher gave it to me for uh, getting good grades. Awesome. And she gave it to me, and it was warped. <laughs> I was so <laughs> bummed. Took me and I Yep. That's crazy. That's, I didn't know that, Dave. We're getting to lo- know each other. Yeah. You're all knowing us, and we're loving each man. other. I'm giving him a hand job under the desk right now. Boing! <laughs> That's how I'm giving him. I'm giving Dave a hand job right now. It's so great. <laughs> <laughs> if you could be a mythological creature, what would you be? That's a hard vampire or werewolf would be a hard toss up. I would be Jesus Christ because he's getting a lot. <laughs> he's getting a lot more money than all of those people. <laughs> Uh, favorite Agnostic Front song? Uh, Victim of Pain? Nope. Fascist Fals- Attitudes. I'd say Victim of Pain because I'm a poser. Or The Eliminator. Oh, there's so many. Yeah, that's a good one too. Shit. Favorite Swedish bands? Uh, of course we're going to say our fucking friends yeah, bands. At the Gates. Anecdoten is one of my favorites. They're like a pro- prog rock band. Opeth. Uh, DS-13. E, uh, Victims. Yeah, ETA was awesome. Victims, of course. Nazem was awesome. Yeah, haunted. Good-ass dudes. Dave's got a haunted tattoo, actually. I sure do. Right here. And, uh, they made me do it. They held me down. <laughs> uh, other Swedish bands. There's a lot, man. We've had, over the years, uh, oh, Widespread Bloodshed was really awesome. Breach, one of my all-time favorite bands. Man, I got a buzz now. He buzz. Best Black Flag singer. Shit. Ah, 
I'll, I'll just say Rollins. That's a, that's the guy I like. I think Keith Morris is the coolest one, just because I think he, like, I don't want to say kept it real. I hate saying shit like that, but. Keep like, it real goes wrong. But I, lately, I listen to more of the later Black Flag shit, which is weird. So it's a toss up between Keith and, and Henry. I've been really getting into, like, Loose Knot and all that stuff. Kira's got the ten and a half. Yeah, that's... Okay. Who's got the ten and a half is yeah. the best live album, I would say. Not, I'll say Live After Death by Iron Maiden. That is an yeah, incredible live, live album. album. But who's got the ten and a half? I can't stop listening that to That one's it. awesome. And, uh, what other... And Hallraker by The Descendants is also an incredible live album. I don't have that. It's I, fucking I awesome. Uh, what drum rolls rudiments do you use? Well, I like to go with <laughs> a more of a like browner. I, I don't know. I'm talking about All me. single strokes. Everything I do is single strokes. I only use double strokes for everything. Single strokes has the most power for me. That's how I like to do it. Oh, yeah. Wolfpack, skit system. Yeah, man. Swedish bands. For, totally forgot about that. Oh, most embarrassing tattoo? Oh, I don't have any. Oh, I like shit. all my tattoos, whether they're shitty or not. Yeah, I got I got a lot of shitty tattoos, but nothing really embar. I got the, my old band tattoo on the back of my leg is uh, JRS. It kind of looks like some Eminem tattoo now. Cause it's like old English. It's like it's just down my, shit. Yeah, like people ask me like if I was in a gang or something because it looks like one of those weird like. It totally does. But it was my old, uh, it was just my old punk band. So that's like the shittiest tattoo I had. But it was also the first tattoo I got. So. It's a great memory. Freeman did it too. Did he really? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I warm, I warm up. I warm up. It, it, there's nothing that's ever going to help my shitty voice. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I warm up. I, uh, I warm up I with chocolate. I warm up, but um, I still have a tendency to blow my voice out more than most singers because I shout. But I don't give a shit. I'll yell my ass off till the day I die. Till the day I die. Till the day <sighs> I die. Why isn't the Waste playing the Fest in Gainesville this year? Because we're writing an album, and we th- thought it would be more important to like focus on that. So we didn't really book a lot of stuff um, now and... Like around this time period, we're not really playing. We're playing a couple shows, but not, nothing really. We didn't want to have like four or five shows till the end of the year, and that's it. Yeah, yeah. We wanted to like not plan a lot of stuff, so we were so we had time to make sure that we could finish the record properly. A lot of times, you you end up booking stuff so far in advance that you don't realize that like getting a record done takes more time than it does, and then you get messed up and you have to rush stuff. So we just didn't book anything. Yeah. I would love to have the waste play again because it's always a, like one of my highlights of the year. That's a great time. That's a good festival. Yeah, we'll we'll play it again if he, if Tony does it next year or whenever he does it again, we'll do it. Um, yeah. So you want to wrap this up soon? Wrap it. Ever up, been me. wasted performing? <laughs> yeah, not lately. Never. No. <laughs> Warm up show. Cowboys or Bucks? Bucks. Cowboys. Bucks. <laughs> who who posted that? Oh, uh, do we say bye now or are we getting off? Yeah. I've- Okay, he's taking us off. So uh, thank you. you. Thanks, Thanks. everybody, for watching. We really appreciate it. And uh, you guys rule.